The Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be playing their very first real football game of the 2021 NFL season this Saturday in the preseason versus the Cleveland Browns. And I think many Jags fans, including myself, are super excited to finally see Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence finally step foot onto the football field in terms of a real game. Even though this is preseason, we finally get to see what this Jags team looks like live in action. Now, there are three main headlines that I'll be paying attention to with this preseason matchup. And the first one I want to dive into will be Trevor Lawrence and Gardner Minshew. Now, Urban Meyer has made it very clear, and even just a couple days ago, saying that there is still a quarterback competition week one versus the Houston Texans. And he has not even named the starting quarterback for this Saturday's preseason game versus the Cleveland Browns as I am making this video. And that's kind of shocking to me because I do believe that Trevor Lawrence will be the starter week one versus Houston. And I think he will be the starter in the preseason game but i understand that everything is a competition coming from the collegiate level especially for trevor lawrence and urban meyer everybody is competing 24 7 these are a bunch of young guys and you want to make guys earn their job but everybody knows that trevor lawrence the consensus number one overall pick is the better quarterback and is the future quarterback of this team moving forward because gardner Minshew's lack of arm strength will catch up to him at some point so i think it's best to start trevor lawrence off early get him behind the first offensive line and utilize him correctly because i think that the stadium will be going absolutely nuts when he runs out onto that field now the second headline i want to get into will be caleb on chase on our number 20 overall pick in last year's draft and chase on got off to a slow start last year but did get better towards the end of the year and now that joe collin the 3-4 defensive scheme coordinator from the baltimore ravens has now came to jacksonville i think caleb on chase on will be used a lot more effectively because he's back to his natural position which is why he was such a highly rated outside linebacker coming out of lsu and he's back to his position and i think he's going to be utilized very well this season i'm super excited to see how he does because i've been seeing the progress in his work throughout training camp you've seen the videos on social media Media. He even attended Von Miller's linebacker camp. I think Chase on's prime for a breakout year, and you hear the confidence and swagger in his voice in his interviews. You can clearly tell that he's been putting in the work, and I'm super excited to see what this guy does Saturday and for this season moving forward. Now, heading into the third topic, I really want to see when it comes to the top receivers in the group with guys like Marvin Jones Jr., LaVisca Chenault, Colin Johnson, Jalen Camp, Laquan Treadwell, and a handful of others because I won't mention DJ Chark just because he did have that minor finger surgery. He will be back week one versus the Houston Texans. But I want to see which receiver in this group is going to get targeted the most between Gardner Minshew and Trevor Lawrence, the two best quarterbacks on the team, because the receivers on this group have so much depth, so much potential. And when you talk about a guy like Colin Johnson, who's 6'6", who could could be a red zone target marvin jones jr who's already played with daryl bevel the offensive coordinator how he's going to be utilized because he's a great veteran and he's been one of the most underrated receivers in the nfl the last two years and then lavisca chanel who's a budding star in terms of the nfl pro bowl ranks i think and i think he's going to be phenomenal this year for the jags probably leading the team in reception yards this year if you ask me but i want to see which jags receiver is specifically going to get the most targets because honestly this is going to be a fun group to watch this season but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That will be doing preview videos for every single Jags game this year. And of course, I'll be out at the game tomorrow as I'll be at many games this year with regular season tickets. And of course, week one for Trevor Lawrence and Urban Meyer's NFL debut. I'll be vlogging every game, doing previews, and I'll probably figure my way out with how I want to do recap videos as well. I'll probably include them in vlogs, but that'll come as time goes on. But thank you guys again for watching. Let me know your guys' predictions down below for what you guys expect from the score tomorrow versus the Cleveland Browns and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias. They'll be down in the description as well. That's it, Jags Nation. I'm out, boys. Peace.